As we said, bottom of the sixth, end of the sixth round. And we talk about the teams and what they're looking for and for the players who are waiting to see if they will be drafted. Some are hoping that the phone call comes or their name gets mentioned in the next couple of hours. Others are hoping not to hear it. Maybe they won't be drafted, but they may have the opportunity to go to a situation that would best fit them as a free agent. So an anxious time for so many football players who are college stars. Among the last six picks taken, a uh, familiar name if you're a college football fan, Tom Brady, the quarterback who uh, all he did was lead this football team, put them in the right position more times than not. And when he got pulled from the game and Drew Henson came in, Michigan football was not as good as it was when no, Brady was in. No question, Mike. Smart experience. This past season, he cut his interception total from 98 and half, tossed 20 touchdown passes, only six interceptions. Threw a touchdown pass, and actually, all 16 games he started against Big Ten opposition during his career. Accurate. It was a very catchable ball. He really knows when to take a little off as well. And that's the key, and he stands in that pocket very tough. He'll take a hit. The question's going to be mobility. Only runs a 5 2 five, 40. And of course, when you have those edge pass rushers, you have to avoid the initial defensive end, the initial pass rusher. Can he do that at the pro level? Going to New England, Drew Bledsoe, his forte certainly isn't mobility. It's dropping back, throwing the football. Brady can do that, and certainly New England's offense already designed for Bledsoe. Now comes Brady. Can he overcome that lack of mobility? Michael Bishop's a young quarterback who's in the pipeline in New England. Interesting to see what happens. And you talk about a school producing quarterbacks, you think of Dreisbach, Greasy, Gerback, Collins, four Michigan quarterbacks who are on NFL rosters now. 